Hi, welcome everyone. Today we are going to learn the entire process of compiling the OpenSea source code on Windows machine. In this tutorial, we will be using OpenSea version 3.5.0. This is the one that we are going to compile today. Before we jump into the nitty gritty, let's make sure we have all the tools we need to successfully compile the source code. We need Visual Studio of versions 2022, 2019 or 2017. Any latest version would be the best one. Next, Intel Fortran compiler, latest TCL version and uh, Python 3.10 version. I have provided these links in the video description. You can use them while compiling the source code on your laptops or computers. Let's start with the installation of Visual Studio. Just click this link. You will be redirected to the latest uh, Visual Studio web page. Come a little down. Here you will find three versions, Community, Professional and Enterprise. Community is a free edition. You can download that. It will take a while. Download this. It's done. Double click this. Click Yes. Continue. I have already installed this Visual Studio 2022 version. I am just clicking this uh, modify button. On your machine, uh, you will directly be in redirected to this page actually. So here you just select this uh, Python development environment and uh, in the desktop and mobile section, you just select this uh, desktop development with C++, universal Windows platform development. Overall, wherever there is C++, just uh, tick those boxes. Mobile development is not necessary for us. That's it. When you have selected these two, then you can click on this uh, install while downloading or uh, download all and then install. Since I have already installed these uh, softwares, I'm just closing this for now. Next is uh, the Intel Fortran compiler. Intel Fortran compiler comes in uh, uh, two variants. One is the base toolkit and the other one is the HPC tools kit. Uh, we have to install this base toolkit first and uh, on top of that we are going to install that uh, HPC toolkit. So let's click this one. Here select the operating system Windows. It's offline installer. Select the latest one. Here you no need to give your uh, accounts. You just uh, click this uh, continue without uh, signing up. If you click this, you will be asked to download this. Since I have already downloaded this, I'm not going to re-download it because it will take a while. I'm opening my downloads page. I'm just uh, double clicking this base toolkit. Unzip it, extract. Make sure you install this uh, Intel Fortran compiler after the installation of Visual Studio. If you do that, this properly integrate with uh, Visual Studio projects, else you may face some errors related to missing libraries. Click continue. Since I have already installed these things, uh, I'm getting a different page, but uh, you will see a different page. You will see this one. You just select all the components and uh, press this one and press. Make sure you close the Visual Studio before installing this and then press this uh, right arrow. It will automatically install this. Since I have already installed, I'm closing this. After the installation of this base toolkit, install this uh, HPC toolkit. It also follows the same path. Windows, offline installer, select the latest version and uh, download it. Since I have already downloaded it, I'm opening this. Just like this base kit installation, you will see a similar kind of uh, Windows while installing this uh, HPC toolkit as well. Click continue. Here, since I have already installed, I am seeing this a different page, but uh, you will see this one. You just select all the components and then press these right arrows. It will be installed and uh, successfully integrated with this uh, Visual Studio version. I am quitting this. After the installation of this uh, Intel Photon compiler, we need to download uh, active TCL version. So currently TCL 8.6 is the latest one. Just uh, download this. Uh, 
you don't need uh, to sign up just to continue to download TCL without an account download this click next since I have already installed uh, you are seeing a different page but you will get whether to install uh, a customized TCL or a complete TCL um, click on uh, complete installation for now I am closing this Just finish next is um, Python version 310 it is not mandatory to use uh, 310 version for compilation purpose you can use the latest uh, 311 version of Python also but version 310 is recommended because several other libraries that are dependent on uh, OpenSys such as OpenSys visualization library etc are not compatible with the latest 3.11 version hence it is recommended to use uh, version 310 for this purpose I am going to install uh, a little older version of uh, Anaconda that is uh, that corresponds to the March build 2023 March 1 build so you can find that here this one download this since I have already downloaded this I am just uh, demonstrating with the downloaded one just uh, press I agree all users here you need to select one just uh, go with the default one C program data anaconda since I have already installed uh, this anaconda 3 I cannot uh, reuse that folder just for temporary for demonstration purpose I am using uh, this test2 folder but I recommend you to go with anaconda3 directory with the default directory don't change it next register anaconda3 as the system python 310 version just to check this one also next check this one also make sure you check uh, all these three and uh, press install it will be installed successfully so the, uh, currently I am cancelling this uh, setup that's it now we are done with uh, installations let's download our uh, latest source code so just press this link it will be redirected to this version 3.5.0 of OpenSys download this um, source code uh, zip file and uh, save it to some preferred uh, directory it will take a while to completely download this um, zip file yes it's downloaded open this unzip this one it will take a while to completely unzip this file yeah it's almost done that's it this is our uh, OpenSys 3.5.0 so when you unzip it it will create a new folder with the same name OpenSys 3.5.0 open it you will see this directory called uh, win64 open it and uh, here you will see a file called opensys.sln open this with uh, 2022 version since I have installed both the 2022 and the 2019 version uh, in my machine it is showing both two versions since if you install only one it will show only one I recommend you to open this with uh, visual studio 2022 version so since we opened uh, with the 2022 version it is asking us to upgrade the existing projects to the compatible tool set of uh, 2022 the open source source code that we had just downloaded is uh, developed with 2019 version since we are using this uh, 2022 version we need to upgrade uh, all of our libraries to the latest tool set press ok that's it here are our all uh, uh, OpenSys projects. Let's make this OpenSys as the main st startup project. Just set a startup project and then do a build. In the default debug mode, x64 version. Let's see if we can compile this uh, without any errors. We already got one error reliability.lib uh, file is missing uh, from quick main module that is this one let's see if we get more errors or uh, only this damping.h is missing invalid parameter it, some 
errors overall we have got uh, 27 errors so from which modules we have got we have got one from quick main we have got one from open sys tk and we have got several from open sys pi let's see before diving in to this resolution of errors i have to uh, tell you one thing regarding uh, active tcl If you look at the paths that we have given, C program files slash TCL and uh, TCL include, when you install a TCL file, when you install your TCL, that will be downloaded here into your C directory as active TCL. But here we are given a path C program files TCL. One thing you have to do is either you have to change this path uh, program files to TCL2 this one C slash active TCL but uh, I don't recommend that because this C program files TCL is embedded into every project actually you have to change uh, this path in all the projects so Instead of that, what I recommend is just copy this uh, TCL, active TCL folder, paste it into your program files directory and just uh, rename it as just TCL. That would be enough to maintain this path structure. And uh, after that, right click this uh, and see what else are there we have got this C program data anaconda 3 include yeah this is also fine we have anaconda in program data this program data is a hidden file so maybe if you hide this uh, hidden files you may not see this just unhide all the directories then you will see this program data open program data you will see this anaconda 3 library and here you will see this include yeah that's it we are on the right path there's no problem here and uh, in terms of library linking let's see what we are using just to edit we are using uh, anaconda 3 libs slash lib uh, slash debug yeah that's fine we are good here as well just uh, I'm changing this uh, debug mode to release and then building it once again yeah this time we are done with those namespace errors and uh, now we are left with uh, if console.lib is missing linking error and uh, if console.lib is missing in this open source tk module uh, let's see why this is happening these errors are mainly due to the uh, inappropriate linking of the intel fortran library intel fortran uh, compiler let's see if we have correctly defined the paths of intel fortran compiler here libraries yeah this one this one is uh, by default since we set it as a startup project Intel uh, by default integrated this here I'm just uh, copying it and uh, adding this to both OpenSys TK apply and open sys pi press ok let's build the module again now let's build the whole uh, solution means that all projects again so now one succeeded two failed let's see what are those so we are still missing if console.lib 
and uh, the input file python 39.lib let's see what is this python 39 input modules here python 39 is used but in this source code we are going to use this uh, python 310 just change this to python 310 since we downloaded this version 3.5.0 uh, seems uh, the latest python version they used in compiling the source code is python 39 version but if you download the same source code from the master branch the latest one you will see the python 310 there so i just changed this to python 310 and let's build this again so now one succeeded one failed what is missing just if console.lib is missing so means i have to add the same intel photon compiler to here as well let's build the whole project again now zero failed all the latest one succeeded and all uh, 27 projects are up to date it means we don't have any errors that's it our project is compiled successfully now in this win64 directory open this bin folder in this folder you will see this uh, open sys main dot exe file this is the main open sys dot exe file which you can use to run any tickle files also here you will see an another version of open sys the python version python extension module if you look into the properties this is dot pyd file uh, we will look more into this dot uh, pyd file in our next video tutorials for now if you want to use the tickle version of open sys you can simply use this one you can take any input file and uh, you can use that here actually you can copy this to wherever you want you can copy this to any directory for example some directory on the desktop and i am pasting it here and i am running it here just uh, download some sample tcl file open sys code sample open sys code open sys examples i need some basic examples to demonstrate whether the chosen one is working or not just download this uh, trust.tcl paste here so it's downloaded that is this trust.tcl just uh, type source trust.tickle yeah it's done so the result that you have got is uh, 0 0.53 minus 0 0.177 so what are the displacements they have obtained here it's 0 0.53 minus 0 0.177 yeah your uh, compiled version of uh, OpenSys file is working without any issues. It's good. If you have any questions or suggestions, we recommend you to please write them in the comment section below the video. We greatly appreciate your feedback and we will do our best to respond to each and every comment. If you like our content, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Happy learning. Thank you.